Hello and welcome to the first of the Lyricist update videos. Now, if you haven't watched the initial video going over the basics of Lyricist, then please go and watch that first. I'm just going to cover all the changes and additions since the uh, initial release. I've had a great response from you guys and I've had a lot of suggestions, some of which have been built into this version. So let's start. Now the first option I want to go over is the ability to export these uh, speech synthesizer clips from um, Lyricist to the clipboard. And you can do that by tapping on the little, uh, the little rendered icon at the right, far right of the lyric line and picking the option to copy to clipboard. Now this is in general uh, audio clipboard format so you can go into something like audio share and hit the paste icon and paste that into here which uh, then becomes accessible elsewhere. There is a house in New Orleans. So of course you can take advantage of the different voices available within TalkBox um, and just use it for rendering audio clips for use in and something else if energy. need be. And now we're full of energy. Now I've also been asked how you export these um, songs and we can do this using the Files app. If we just position a Files app to the left of the window and open up the load dialog, we can actually drag files out of here uh, and drop them within the Files app itself. Um, so this is a two-way process. We can drag them out of here and we can drag them back in here. So now I want to take a little look at the improvements I've made to embedding shortcodes. If we open the Edit Lyric dialog and press Preview. Trains and sewing machines. Trains and sewing machines. You can see it will preview whatever note or octave or inversion that I've got selected. Trains and sewing machines. And that also includes a range of chords. But we can stick the cursor at the beginning of this and press and hold the embed button and we can embed these in this case chord changes at various points within the sentence to uh, effect change when played back trains and sewing machines now if you're unsure of the chord name you're playing you can um, press the learn button and uh, on the actual keyboard input we can uh, play chords and, and it will speak and the lyric line with the Trains selected chord machines. which is all well and good if it recognizes it as a known chord but often you'll find that chords are overkill and probably a two note melody is probably better than a chord trains and sewing machines trains and sewing machines so now, while you're in learn mode, Trains you can hold down a machines. set of keys and press Trains and hold and the embed machines. button to embed the actual notes rather than a chord. So the embed code there uh, is uh, MIDI notes um, D4 and F3. Now I want to go over the uh, remote control modes that we discussed in the uh, initial video. As there are now four modes to choose from, which you can view by pressing and holding the remote button turn the remote on to activate. Now in MIDI input mode it takes the place of all these short codes. Um, it allows you to change the pitch on the fly. Some precious moments, just a few. So as the uh, song is played the input notes uh, change pitch. Some precious moments, just a few. So with remote activated uh, any Some external moments, MIDI notes that are coming into the lyricist will override anything internally. So essentially people were asking, well, if we've got a talk box in there, can we use it as a standalone talk box? And the answer is, you can now. The only stipulation here is that not all packages support routing of audio with multiple channels, but AUM does. Some precious moments, just a few. So as you can hear here, I've got uh, a vocal line here and I want to feed this into Lyricist and use that as a carrier for the talk box uh, instead of the computerized voice. Now we need to be in mode 3 MIDI and vocal input here and as you can see from this menu the input vocal comes from bus 2 so we need to feed that uh, vocal into uh, bus 2 of Lyricist and we do that by selecting uh, multi-bus 
uh, audio unit instances from the pop-up menu and selecting Lyricist as a destination. And if we click on that, we can see that it's going to input, input bus 2 of Lyricist, which is what we want. Press play on AUM, you can hear that the vocals coming out. We don't want to hear the vocals, so uh, just disconnect the output on that channel. So now we've got the vocal routed to uh, Lyricist bus 2. Um, we just need to give MIDI input to Lyricist and input some MIDI notes. Now, ideally, you'd be using a mic and a keyboard here, but you've got a vocoder. Some precious moment, just a few. But ever since I think of you Some precious moments, just a few But ever since I think of you So just to recap, we're at using uh, an external vocal line there and external MIDI notes to uh, trigger Lyricist's internal synth engine But what I'm going to do now is use an external synth engine, in this case I'm using a copy of Sunriser and we're going to change the mode to mode 4 which uses audio input from bus 1 which is the carrier and the modulator which is bus 2 is the vocal coming in from the second AUM channel. Now don't forget to give your synth MIDI input and not lyricist. Some precious moments, just a few But ever since I think of you Some precious moments, just a few But ever since I think of you Some precious moments, just a few But ever since I think of you some precious moments, just a few, but ever since I think of you. Now there's only so much you can do with a computerised voice. Um, it's great for narration, not so great at singing, although it's quirky and it has its place. Some precious moments, just a few. So the raw voice is hidden by the talk box. Some precious moments, just a few. And as you can see, we could use external MIDI input to apply a melody to that using the talk box. But I want to show you a way of recording your own voice or a vocal input, which gives us a four beat counting before we start to sing. Now to do that, we have to have Lyricist loaded as an effect plugin so that audio can pass through it. And don't forget, not all packages can input audio, but AUM can. So in this case, I'm going to try and record that audio clip. I'm going to do that by pressing and holding the uh, add lyric line. Now I'm going to press play in AUM to simulate a vocal line input. And when I release the add lyric button, you'll see that it's saved and we can preview it. Some precious moments, just a few. And if we turn on the vocoder, some precious moments, just a few. And voila, your bad singing voice is turned into something that can be used within a song, and no one will ever know. Now if you notice the little rendered symbol to the right of the lyric is now orange and not yellow. That indicates that this is a live lyric. And there are a few rules about live lyrics. You cannot embed short codes within a live lyric line. You can specify an initial chord or note for that particular line, but you cannot change within the line. Because unlike the spoken synthesized lyric, we have no idea where the gaps are, where the words are within that audio. This is more intended for use with the external remote modes. So I hope that stirred your imagination and I hope some of these uh, features you find useful. So that's it for now. Uh, see you next time.